working well and sometimes friends aren't free, but you really are. I always think the story is a good way to go. So today we've heard about St. Thomas. And Thomas, he followed Jesus for a long time. Three whole, three and a half whole years, he followed him and he watched him and he listened and he learned. And when the time came, it was really hard. It was so hard to believe because no one had ever done it before. No one had ever died and risen from the dead. So Thomas was like, no, I don't know. I love my Jesus. My Jesus is gone. He's left me. I feel so alone. So it was hard for him to believe that finally the truth that Jesus had been speaking about the whole time says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. And no one goes to the Father except through me. That's what Jesus said. And then Thomas, I think, he just wanted some, like, physical belief. You know when you touch something, it finally feels real. You know when you wish for that really special present at Christmas or your birthday, and you keep asking and asking, and you leave notes everywhere around the house, and you kind of picture out and stick it on the fridge, and you're hoping your parents are going, <laughs> yeah, that's what they want. You're going, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm hoping about it. Do you know what? Hoping for Jesus to be real is even more exciting than those presents. So Thomas had to feel. He had to know for real. He said, my Lord and my God. I don't think in my head, he reached out and think, oh, I don't know if he really touched because he probably suddenly realized it. <gasps> it's real. It's true. He's alive. When I was younger, that was not that long ago, but when I was younger, I met Jesus for real. It's kind of weird. It's not physical like Father was saying, but I met him for real. I was in real deep trouble one day. Like, I mean real deep trouble. I had no one to talk to. And because I was always raised knowing that God was in my life. I always went to Catholic Church and I always saw Jesus hanging on the cross. And you know what? One day I was so scared. I was so alone and all I could find was a church. And I think the priest might have been on holiday because I walked into the church and he was not even there for me to talk to. This is in another country. And I sat in that pew and I bowled my eyes out and I said,
Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, you know how much I love you. Dear Jesus, you know how much I love to talk to you. I ask God that you will just put your special blessing upon every human in this room. That they will know you, that they will love you, and they will find you. And they will ask you. Always be by their side. Until you come again.